Hello. So tonight I'm going to do an experiment. Um, I'm going to do a white background, which I already have the paint on the uh, canvas. It's just a canvas board. It's about an 8 by 10. And, uh, and then I'm going to, with a pipette, with one of these, I'm going to, whoops, <laughs> I'm going to put some paint on the uh, canvas in a specific pattern, whatever. And then um, I'm going to swipe. And then I'm going to do a um, string method, the string method. And I'm going to use something different. I've got, right, right now I've got just regular uh, white house paint mixed with uh, Floetrol and a little bit of water. Um, it's about two parts paint to one part Floetrol for that. And then for the color, the rest of it, I'm going to use these acrylic... Uh, Liquitex acrylic inks. Um, so the colors I have are uh, Prussian blue. I've got deep violet. I've got uh, yellow orange and uh, magenta. I keep doing it backwards here. Okay, magenta. Okay, and I'm mixing with the inks. I'm mixing Liquitex pouring medium. And I mixed about, an, in these cups, I think they're about an ounce in these cups here. They're just a little, I'll show you an empty one so they don't spill. So I put about, they're a little over an ounce, so I put a right about here which is about an ounce of uh, the pouring medium. And then I added three of the dropper uh, of the ink, three droppers in, and then mixed really well. So, and then um, now I'm going to put in for salves, I'm going to put in the coconut milk serum. So I'll do that right now. Okay, I've already got the white on. So now I'm going to, yes, I'm going to do these two colors and that. Okay, I'm using, oh, these are slippery. Oops. Put two drops of the um, coconut milk in each color, two, and then yellow, in the magenta, okay, I'm going to give that a bit of a stir. I did put any water in the uh, ones with the ink. I just put um, pouring medium, the Quitex pouring medium, and the ink. And I don't know if you can see the consistency. Oh, it'll lift it up high enough. <laughs> okay. And the string I'm using is just the uh, same string I've been using. It's just the cotton, uh, cotton wool. Okay, so I'm going to start applying this on the canvas. And I'm just going to do, so I guess I'm starting right there. Swir swirl them down like this. I 
I've never used uh, the acrylic inks yet. It's my first time. So hopefully it goes well. One more on this side. This is the violet. A lot of paint on here. I hope when I swipe it, it kind of comes off a little bit. going to add a little bit of yellow. Oh, it's starting to move already. I better get going here. And I'm just going to kind of dab yellow in different spots. It's very fluid. Hope it works. Okay, so what I'm using to swipe with is, um, it's like paper towel, but it's kind of like an industrial, it's a little bit stronger than a paper towel. It's very light though. So I dampened it. Oops, I almost forgot one, something. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more white. It's already dripping off, darn. A little bit more white up here just to get for the swiping. I don't know if I need to, but okay, let's hurry. So just gonna lay the cloth on the edge just till it makes contact. Have to look at what I'm doing here. And then swipe. Well, I 
think I need to swipe again. I don't think, I think there's too much paint on there. Maybe. I'll swipe this way. Looking kind of cool. Now I'm going to get my torch out and to be I think the tables on a bit of a tilt seems to be running off that one side so I'm just gonna stop it okay so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to um, do the string um, this is a little more color than I anticipated, so I hope it changes. So I'm going to move the camera a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. best I can do right now. So I'm just going to lay the, um, the colors along here and then put my string in it. So I'm going to go like that. You're just going to pour it a lot easier. This is the magenta. I think. Yep. Mm. Okay, my first string. It's stuck to my hand.
making sure that it's... it's getting all the string covered. Oh yeah, 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 look at this. I guess I better change the camera view for you. It's pretty. Okay, my next string. I'm just going to try to lower the camera a little bit. few issues with my holder that holds my phone and I hope it doesn't drop because I better hurry so, looks like I'm gonna have to put more paint on the tray it's all falling off okay I'm just gonna Lay it on and then add paint to it. Next string.
Okay, I think I only need small ones here. more. Wow, pretty wild colors. Not sure how it's going to dry, but there's probably too much paint on here. But it's an experiment, so My phone is falling, <laughs> so I'm going to have to take it off and do the rest by my hand here. Excuse my arm. Okay. Okay, I'll try and give you a close-up. It's pretty crazy. Lots of color in there. Um, I don't know how it's going to dry, but I guess we'll see. I will um, wait for it to dry before I post it, and then you can see if it's a, if it's if it's a success or not. <laughs> so, anyways, um, thanks for watching. And if you have any uh, questions for me or any suggestions, uh, please uh, leave a comment uh, below. And uh, till next time, bye bye. Hi, I'm back. Um, it wasn't looking very good, so what I did was I uh, I put the some more string in in the paint, and I did another swipe. Um, at least now you can see the, uh, the swipes better. It's not, uh, so bit, well, it's busy, but it's not quite the same as it was a minute, a minute ago. So anyway, I don't know if this will dry good or not, but, um, again, I'll come back and show you when it's dry. All right. Bye-bye. So this is the, the dried this is it dried, mostly dried anyway. It's just a little bit damp, but it really hasn't changed much from earlier. Um, it's kind of a fail. I mean, it, it's very colorful, but it's really a fail because the uh, inks um, bled too much in the other paint. There's too much color on there, too much paint, and the ink was very uh, runny. So it bled too much and you can't really make out the um, flowers that I did with the string. So just so you know then, um, you have to, you need to actually add something a little bit thicker to the inks instead of the pouring medium. The liquid, I used Liquitex pouring medium. Um, you would need say uh, the Elmer's glue all or a gloss medium is kind of thick too so I'm gonna try 
um, either one of those next time and maybe not do I just do a white background instead of um, the color that I did or maybe just a very pale dirty pour and see what I get um, it is some of the textures though <laughs> is kind of cool so I'll just zoom in a bit like right there uh, it's not focusing very good Anyway, right there is, some of it is kind of a cool texture and it must, and it's got to be the ink. So anyways, it's a lesson and it was an experiment and I learned and hopefully you'll learn. So, um, till next time, see you later. Bye-bye.